Hey friends, it's Jenny. I wanted to share with you the layouts that I made with the Scrapbooking Fanatics July Inspire Box. Now again, the collection that was included was the 49 and Market Nature Study. I used, um, I have two layouts here, let me show you. So this particular one, I've got two photos of my little one, they were at a at their local park it had like a little flower flower walk this collection these here are acetate i've got acetate the little bugs remember when i showed you little bugs and i said not in my house i'll have to move but they were perfect to use here and then i also used one of the jars and I put a little buggy here and some leaves so quite a quite a bit of acetate on here the 100 percent natural awesomeness this is from the um, punch outs, laser cuts, laser cuts. This is from the laser cut. This little faux button is from the laser cut. All of these pretty flowers are from laser cuts. This is from laser cut. The three hearts along with the title curious are from the title pack. But this was layout number one that I, I made with the box. Um, remember, I do try to put lots of things up on foam to create some dimension. I also went ahead and tore some here, tore some here to add another piece of, you know, more color in here. Um, I really like how this one came out. I'm happy to have this done. Something different than definitely what I normally do, but it was fun to create. Now the next one. So this is layout number two that I made with that collection. And you'll see here, I just did a grid of photos. So I've got these four photos. And they went to, I believe it's Cosley Zoo, um, where they, she's touching an owl wing here, touching different things. So there, there were different critter cards, it says. So different things that they got to take a look at and touch. Here's just a little raccoon in a tree. Raccoon's not real, no danger here. This is her looking, there's a little pig here. Up here, I've got some items from the uh, title chipboard. So I've got the Wander title and these three blue hearts. This particular butterfly is from the laser cuts. Laser cut frame, laser cut bird nest, laser cut bow. Another sign that I used here, I used Wander and Wonder. The wheelbarrow is from the laser cuts, the bow, this particular frame, this butterfly, and then of course acetate. I've got an acetate jar here, acetate bugs and leaves and mushrooms, mushrooms and a buggy and another jar and a butterfly. So taking everything that came in that Inspire box, spreading it all out, and using pieces from all of it. Now this one, I, you see I did go ahead and used, I framed my layout, <coughs> excuse me, framed my photo with that butterfly paper so that, you know, we've got it consistently throughout. So as you can see, I got it. But this paper in the background here, you know, look at, you've got your, that subtle pattern of the butterflies and the de definite ornate scrolls here. For such, you know, simple, fun pictures, to use something like this collection, it just makes them look like, wow, you know? At least that's what I think. You don't have to agree with me. Hang on, I need to take a drink, otherwise I'm going to keep coughing on you. Excuse me about that. Anyway, this were the two layouts that I made for the Inspire Box this month. Let me know what you think. Have you looked into the Inspire box? I mean, it really is the the choices that Sandra comes up with for scrapbooking fanatics are they may not be a brand new collection, but when you get it in your hands and you start working with it, it is new to you, right? Anything like that is always new to you. And the way she combines these products like, okay, this is what I'm gonna put in here this month. Let's see what you can do with it. It, it's inspiring. It, it really helps me step outside my box. Well, I hope you like these. I will have these posted sometime in July. I like to let the box go out first, and then we'll go ahead and I'll share these. But 
thanks for watching. I really appreciate your time. You have a great day. Take care.